Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun because I'm going to be unbagging my first pair of spin shoes. So as you guys know, I've been going to Cycle Bar for quite some time now and I've been using just the studio's shoes. And honestly, like there's nothing wrong with the studio shoes, but it's just nicer to have your own pair. And I've been going to a couple evening classes and like when I put my foot into the shoe, however they clean them or whatever, when I put my foot in, it's like kind of wet. So I just get kind of grossed out because just it's wet and it's just kind of uncomfortable. So I decided after a couple times going to evening classes that I wanted to just buy my own shoes and I'm sure that Amazon has good pairs that I can just use and everything. So I decided to check out Amazon and I got this pair of shoes that I'm gonna unbag for you guys right now. And I'm gonna try to put on the cleats in this video as well so you guys can see. Yeah, these were $49.99, about 50 bucks. So I'll go ahead and link them down below as well as the cleats. So you have to buy these separate but these were like $11, so clearly not that much. So if you are looking for spin cycle shoes on a budget, check out Amazon. I will link these down below so you guys can shop them. Um, but I know I did not want to spend a whole ton of money on shoes and everything like that. So I decided to just go the cheaper route and I think it's fine because the class is only 45 minutes and I didn't want to be spending like over $100 on shoes. So going ahead and opening this on up, I just wanna see what they look like because, I don't know. I got the white ones because I just think they're kinda of cool. Oh my gosh, these came with the, these came with the clips. Shoot. All right guys, I'm gonna put these on eBay because now I don't think I need them because these came with the clips. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> I thought I read somewhere where it didn't come with these. Okay, well, anyway, here's the shoes. They're really clean, sleek. They're kind of like the Cycle Bar shoes, but they are, they are not like the Cycle Bar brand. I will try them on for you guys as well too later on in the video, but I just got the white pair because I know they're probably gonna get dirty, but I wanted the white pair because I just think they're like clean and sleek and they were like, I think they were cheaper than the other ones, so I don't mind wearing these. So that's one, and this is the second one, the Delta Clip. So let me just talk about this real quick too. So these, you can either, this is so weird. Why does this one have a freaking screw here and this side doesn't? That's weird. There's two on this one, so. Oh, there's the second one. It was in the bag. So guys, I, a lot of people love the TMs and those are the shoes that like every cycle bar person wears because there's just like the in shoe. They're really comfortable. I've heard, um, they use the SPD clip and you know what? I'm going to be flat out honest with you guys. I do not like the SPD clips because I don't feel like I'm locked in the bike. I like to feel like I'm in that bike. So when I pull up and push down on the pedals, I don't want to feel like I'm going to go anywhere. The SPD clips are just so tiny and they're just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to like rip them off the shoe. I don't, I don't know. It's just a personal preference. And honestly, that's what it boils down to. It's a personal preference type of thing. So I decided to go with the Delta clip because that's what I started off with. My first class was with the Delta clip and that's what I want to wear. Guys, don't feel pressured just because everyone's buying TMs to get that. If you want a more affordable price, if you prefer the Delta clip, go with what you feel more comfortable with because Honestly, that's what it boils down to. Just personal preference, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna try to put these on the shoe now. I don't know really what I'm doing, but I don't think I need these screws because this is for the SPD clip. So I'm gonna take these off and I think it'll be okay. So I just have this and clearly this is where the Delta goes because Delta like three. I'm just going to take off these, yeah. 
And if you were wanting to get the SPD clips, you would just um, screw them into these two holes like right here if you're seeing that. Um, and it's super, super simple. Like it's not brain science to like, you know, put on the clips and stuff. And I really do think these are my size. I will again, try them on a little later for you guys. So you guys can see, let me try to get these on. <laughs> okay. So I think I got the first one on correctly. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. This is kind of like, I don't know if this is supposed to be like that, but I swear that's how it's how it is so um it's kind of like coming off here not off but it's like over so i don't know if that's correct maybe it's a little low or a little high but i wanted to like center it so these bolts were centered you know so i don't know but i think i did this correctly and this is how they fit on so basically you want the um cleat to be on the ball of your foot and so far these feel like how going to a spin class would feel so let me walk into my bathroom and like see I really think that this that these are really well made they feel like the ones I wear from cycle bar so I'm feeling like they are a good fit and everything like that I just have to tighten them up a little bit I think my feet are a little swollen or it's because of the socks. It just makes my feet a little thicker. But overall, I think these are gonna be pretty um, good for when I go to the classes and I will update you guys um, after my first ride. I'm hoping to go to class tomorrow so I can try them out and everything. Okay, so I thought it was really stupid of me to buy like an extra pair of Delta cleats, but I really didn't know that those shoes came with them. But I was thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna keep those cleats because I might get another pair of shoes. And if I do get another pair of shoes, most likely they're not gonna come with cleats. Like if I go with Nike or just anything else, um, they're most likely not gonna come with that. So might as well keep them if I want to get shoes in the future. Um, so it wasn't a total waste and they're only like 10 bucks. So it's not that big of a deal, but um, yep. Got my shoes all ready for tomorrow, and I think they're pretty cute and they're really comfortable. Um, some people would say that they're really uncomfortable because they are in fact like harder, like they're definitely not form fitting to the foot, but I don't like the shoes that like pliable. I like the hard and rigid. So yeah, I will update you guys after the class tomorrow. Okay, so I tried the shoes and overall, I think my first ride was really good with them. They fit really well. I will say, however, though, they feel a little bit different, obviously, than the cycle bar shoes, but I'll get used to it. It's not like a bad feeling. It's just different, you know, but I'll get used to it with time and it doesn't really matter that much. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little impromptu video of like getting new spin shoes and stuff. I will have them linked down below. So if you guys want to check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.